So here we are at the world famous Harley Street, where at one of the most renowned clinics, number 111. Some clinics have reported a 45% increase in their male customers in the last year. So I'm here to investigate and undertake the most popular of them all, Botox. Now, what about if you would turn around and be like, okay, I'm gonna go get Botox? I, mm, I'm, I don't think that'd be a great idea, no. no. Yeah. What if he was really wrinkly and it just made him look better and feel better? I don't know if I really would like be with a guy who's really wrinkly there. No. No? No. Is it more of a grow, grow a older kind of... No, I just don't, I, I really want to age gracefully. gracefully yeah, yeah. I've, I, I just don't want to touch my face. Mm, do you think I need it? No, I'm not saying that. She does, though. Well, uh, I wouldn't be adverse to it, but I'd probably say no. When it gets to that point, if it makes me look that slight bit younger, then yeah, I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, why not? Botox, it is then. Yeah. All right. Hi, Dr. Gannis. How are you? How are you? Nice to see nice you. To see you. Um, now today I'm going to be talking about a few different things to do with male grooming really, but mainly what we're going to be undergoing is Botox and I want to ask you a few questions um, to maybe lift the stigma of what Botox really is. So what is Botox? Okay. What is Botox? I'll try to explain it. It's, it Botox is a medication. It's a medication that is a neuroblocker. What does that mean? It means that it stops some muscles uh, working too hard. And by doing that, if we use it rightly, it can stop the wrinkles associated with these muscles. So what we're about to do is, is undergo Botox mm -hmm. um, for the first time. And so what's the procedure? What's going to happen? Well, first, um, I have a consultation with you and the patient. OK, so Oli, let me see you frowning uh, downwards. OK, so Botox can help you for these two lines here, the frowning lines, and raise your brows up and also for these lines here. And my philosophy with Botox is not to take all the movement away. I want you to look natural. I want you to actually look like you almost didn't have Botox. Yeah. But we want to take the wrinkles away, not your expression. Okay. Uh, then we will clean the skin of the forehead uh, and we will, I will uh, inject small amounts of this medication straight into the muscles that uh, move your forehead. Sounds wonderful. It's interesting, there's no, there's no actual pain behind it. It's a tiny, it feels like acupuncture. If anyone's had an acupuncture, it's a tiny, tiny pinprick. And, and that's, all you, that's all you feel. And so that will now be on for, th that'll take four, four to, two to four days to, to set in. Correct. And should I do anything? Should I avoid things? Should I? You should avoid a deep massage on your forehead for the next 48 hours. Okay. No deep pressure, so nothing too tight around your and there's no alcohol tonight as well, isn't there? There's no, no alcohol, alcohol. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but apart from that, I just wait to see the results. That's right. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So that is what we're aptly naming Brotox. I'll see you in two to four days for the results. So here we are five days after my Botox treatment, and as you can tell, my face is still here. So I can do happy, I can do sad, I can do angry, I can do surprised. And weirdly, it seems that the horror stories of Botox for men are not completely just. I think if you have it in the right dose and you don't go completely overboard, you can have no lines. So in my eyes, Botox is genius. This is Botox.